Welcome back to the homestead and thank you for joining me on my first adventure of making homemade vanilla extract. Uh, so the idea was to make a little bit of homemade vanilla extract to possibly um, give away for Christmas gifts to my immediate family um, as well as keep some in the camper for um, baking. So first of all, for the ingredients, you're going to need um, alcohol, and we'll go over the options for that. You're going to need vanilla beans. You're going to need some sort of funnel, um, scissors or a knife to cut the vanilla beans, and then also jugs, jars, some type of container to hold uh, the vanilla beans and mixture in. I got my bottles off of Amazon, uh, so I ordered just a six pack, and for that, I chose specifically these cute little jars that had this hinging lid on it, uh, but from what I've read, you can use all different types of jars. I'm sure glass is preferred since you are going to be putting uh, alcohol in there. For the vanilla beans themselves, I ordered mine from Vanilla Products USA. I did do a little bit of reading beforehand and found that grade B vanilla beans are best for this use when you're making extracts, whereas grade A vanilla beans are better for other purposes. Um, so I went with the grade B. These are Madagascar grown. Um, and then again, I got it from Vanilla Products USA and I'll have a few clips here that show the actual label, which surprisingly actually had the instructions on how to do the extract itself. So if you're interested in just a quick shot of that, then I'll show a picture here of the label that was actually on the vanilla beans that I ordered. Um, so I just got a small bag. They do seem to go a long way and figured for my first try, I was just doing six. So didn't order a huge amount. Um, I did have to buy uh, the, the vodka for my alcohol. Um, from what I've read, you just want high proof, um, 80 to 100 proof. And then vodka was the most recommended, but I did see that other types of bourbon, whiskey stuff, some rum. Um, but since this was my first try, I was just doing vodka. You know, it has the least amount of flavoring, um, would go well with multiple uses. Um, and then I also did read that the, uh, you don't really have to be getting expensive alcohol um, that the cheap brands are just fine. So with that being said, I went with Aristocrat because we do not drink vodka. So I knew I was only going to be using it for this purpose. So went to the local, um, ABC store and just picked up the cheapest vodka I could find, honestly. Um, so we went with hundred proof Aristocrat. I do have a collapsible funnel that I'll be using, um, but any funnel would work. And if you are uh, not shaky handed, then you might could do without the funnel, but I did not attempt it without that. Um, the next step is to get your container. So again, I went with these, um, just a six pack of these glass jars that looked cute. Um, I thought they would be really cute for giving away as Christmas gifts, like I said. And they do have a hinging lid that has a nice seal on it. This does have to sit uh, for quite a while before you use it. And you want to make sure there is an airtight seal. So that's going to be very important. So just make sure you're looking into that. And then um, also, once you have it made and it's sat for a while, then you're going to want something that's easy to open and close when you are doing your baking to use it. So keep that in mind also. Okay, so I just made sure I had everything kind of lined up on my counter pretty easily. I went ahead and 
cut the vanilla beans up. I used scissors. Uh, my package of vanilla beans did actually state that you don't need to cut, like slice open the vanilla bean itself. Uh, so I did not do that. I up into smaller pieces that would work well for my size jars. And then I just went through and dropped those little pieces of vanilla bean into my jars so that that would already be done whenever I started pouring the alcohol. Um, they are saying like one ounce of vanilla beans uh, per eight ounces of alcohol. So you'll wanna make sure that your measurements, you know, are appropriate for your jars. Um, and once you have the vanilla beans in your jars and they're just gonna sit at the bottom really, then you can move on to filling your jars with the alcohol. And again, we chose to use vodka. Uh, so I just went through and carefully poured the vodka into my jars, um, just making sure that I wasn't spilling anywhere. So I just did that with all six of my jars. And by the time I finished uh, filling up each of my jars, then I really didn't have that much vodka left over. Uh, so we just disposed of that. So that was pretty much it. Once I had the vanilla beans in, I poured the vodka into the jars. Then I just went through and sealed up all of my jars. Um, these hinging lids were kind of difficult to actually get closed when I was trying to film with one hand. Um, so this put a, should have been like a two second step, but it took me a little bit longer while trying to film it. Uh, but I was actually very impressed with the way these sealed up. They do have rubber gaskets on top of the lids that ensured that airtight seal. Um, and that was pretty much it. Super simple project. Um, so now we just let it sit. So this is the actual um, brand of the jars that I got. It was a six pack. Again, I ordered it off of Amazon and they did come with these plastic bubble sleeves just for packaging purposes, which ended up being great for me. I just put the jars back in those um, bubble wrap packaging and then put it back in the box that had the dividers and that's where they set. Uh, an easy project. So comment below if you have made homemade vanilla extract before and you have any helpful tips. Um, would always appreciate hearing from anyone who has done this before and you know, maybe next time I can do it a little bit better than this time.